everyone. Today I want to share with you all my Erin Condren planner and how I've been using it. If you have been with me for a while, you know that Erin Condren planners are not really um, my style. And speaking of which, if you are joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. My name is May. I am a lawyer and entrepreneur and a lover of social media and I just like to make these videos for fun. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so anyway, back to this. I not, I'm not the hugest fan of Erin Condren. You guys know that the colors are a little bit too much for me. I have ordered the new one. Um, if you guys are fans of Erin Condren, you know that they came out with a new style for this year with neutrals, and I'm super excited about that actually. I ordered the neutral one. The team at Erin Condren was um, gracious enough to let me order a planner, so that's on its way to me. And when that one arrives, I am going to pass this one along to um, one of my friends. So. I'm really on this track of not collecting things and just um, really trying to simplify my life and be as minimal as possible. So I don't want to collect too many things. So this one will be going to a good home. But anyway, I have been trying to use this just because I have it. And um, again, I'm on this path to kind of use the things that I have instead of acquiring more things. Um, and plus, I love this cover. I'm obsessed with this cover and summer's coming and I just thought um, I need to bust this out and start using it. So I am using it for a very specific purpose. If you guys have watched my latest setup video, um, which I'll link down below, you know that I have been using a digital component as well. My calendar for all my appointments is all digital. So um, I do not keep any appointments in here. Um, I use this for tasks. So let me show you guys. So here is my monthly spread, and I'm using the monthly strictly for an editorial calendar, and then just like really big important things that I need to um, see, but really even those are just kind of more um, work related. You guys know I'm in LA for a big project right now, so um, things that pertain to that I'm, I'm putting on here. But for the most part, I am just using this as an editorial calendar um, and to keep track of um, various promotions that um, I am a part of right now. So real quick, I'll tell you guys how I do my editorial calendars. I just use these colored tabs so that I can move things around if I need to. So if a post doesn't go live on a certain day um, or if I decide I want to move it around, I can do that. And I just use these colored tabs. So all the purple ones are for Facebook posts and the yellow ones are for a newsletter. So this is just the color coding system that I use because these are the colors that I happen to have. Um, but it works really well for me and once I have the idea for it or if I have it scheduled, then I just mark it out and I know that it is done. So the monthly calendar I am using strictly for editorial and then we go into the weekly spreads. And I'm using the weekly spreads really for my tasks and reminders for tasks. So like I said, I am using a um, digital Google Calendar because I'm just way too busy. I was busy before and now that I'm in LA, I'm like three times as busy. So um, I just, I can't write all my appointments and meetings and conference calls and all that stuff. Um, I'm just not gonna be able to write that in these boxes. So as you can see, I've been making to-do lists on the left-hand side. If there are tasks that are specific to a day, I will write them in on that day. Let me flip to the next week. You guys can see, sometimes I will put events in here just so that um, when I am doing forward planning and I'm going and trying to schedule tasks, I will know that, for example, I'm out all this day because um, I'm conducting a staff meeting, so don't um, schedule any tasks for myself then because I won't be able to do that. But here is another example. Um, this is a date in the future and I need to follow up with Jake, so I have that written down. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so over here I need to check on a um, collaboration with Tumblr, so I have that written here. Now I do sometimes put some um, personal things on here as well. I have mostly been using this for work, but um, as you can see I need to remember to pick up a baby shower gift because I am attending a baby shower um, on the weekend. So. 
I will put things kind of in this evening slot for more personal things that I need to do. But for the most part, I'm just using this um, at work and I'm using it to schedule tasks. It helps me to be able to write out um, and kind of flesh out um, projects in here and plug in different parts of each project into um, a day. Let's look over here. So on this week, this is a good example. I had three tasks here that I had written in presumably like the week before that I needed to remember to do. One of them I got done, but then these two, obviously I did it because I then went in and highlighted them so that um, in the following week I could go in and um, kind of reschedule these tasks for myself in um, different days of the week. So I guess I didn't do that, but I guess I got them done. So anyway, you can see here, I was just using it as a notes section. So I was kind of planning things out for my editorial calendar. So I'm being really flexible with this. Um, if you guys are longtime planner girls um, and are similar to me, I used to be so obsessed with my planner and not wanna make any mistakes and um, a lot of the reason why I kind of pulled back from the planner world a little bit was because I was getting overwhelmed um, with the like perfectionism and just like wanting to make sure that my spreads were so beautiful and I was getting these amazing planners and I just wasn't using them. Um, and so I really just decided that I'm gonna go for it with this planner and just use it during the day and write things in and not be afraid to scratch them out or move them around. So. This has been working really well for me. I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I like that it kind of has things broken up so that sometimes I can use these um, for maybe different projects. I can use this you know, top one for one project, the middle one for another one, and then the bottom for like my personal things. So it gives me a lot of flexibility. And again, it allows me to just kind of um, really like dive in and plan things out and um, hash things out. And the thing that I love it most for is this forward planning of tasks so that I can remember that I need to do something um, and follow up with something in the future. Those are just not things that I would schedule on my appointment type calendar, which is what I use my digital one for. So I hope that makes sense. Just really quick, I wanted to share with you guys um, in case you have an Erin Condren planner and just aren't sure how to use it um, or kind of like me and kind of in limbo with your planning um, and your organization routines. I hope this gives you an idea for how um, you can get started. Be sure to check out my other videos um, for my organizational setup and how I am um, using digital and paper both. I hope you guys are doing really well and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.